Today's video is kindly sponsored by SaveDroid. SaveDroid is an app available for download on iOS and Android. It's completely free of charge to download and it helps its users to save money in a really easy and fun way that I will be exploring more at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, make sure you're comfy, cozy, grab the snacks, light the candles, and let's get into this week's vlog. It is rush hour, good morning. Welcome back to a brand new weekly vlog. I'm just sat, in fact, let me shut my car door because there's people back. I'm just sat in the car park, the NCP in the Arndale in Manchester and Lydia's parked just a couple of cars down from me. I'm just switching over my shoes because I've actually got heels on but I can't drive in heels. So I've just driven in and we have an exciting brunch, a new venue called Eden in Manchester. There's so many people, it's definitely rush hour. I might get a chance to do a bit of shopping. Got a little dress on from All Saints. This is actually quite old, but I really like it. And it's a nice transitional one because of the long sleeves and it's like below my knee. But I've also got a trench to go on it, just a lightweight trench from Lovies. I'm gonna take a couple of pictures and then get changed for the brunch and then maybe take another couple of pictures. So that is our plan. Got the little Lulu out today and I just had to help Lydia park. I'm gonna go find her now and make sure she's okay. Car locked. There she is. Hi. Hi. Yeah, little heeled boots on. Trench coat. Oh, you look very smart. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Naked. Huh? You're naked. Oh, is it? There's. What, who's the designer? It's Jupiter. Um, yeah. Um, right, okay, let's find the shops. We are outside Eden. It says drink, dance, dine, and disco. For Manchester based people, this is old Tiger Tiger. And it's in a take, very handy position. I didn't even it? know Tiger Tiger had gone. I to be completely honest with you. I, I used to work at the bird cage mm -hmm. over there. Wow. <laughs> shoot our final outfit so I'll just do a quick oh, oh yeah that's what I was gonna do good oh. reminder good reminder just a quick very simple Zara Lovies Adidas YSL beautiful Bashi and mostly Anna Luisa I think and Aurelia lovely and two fave jewelry brands I like the shirt where well, was that from Zara it's nice. from Cast 21 degrees today except I'm, I'm okay. it's getting darker and darker by the yeah, minute but it just feels like it's gonna rain yeah. which is not great apart from that all is good we're ready to eat ready to rumble ready to shoot this little outfit here and head on in Just deciding what we want from the brunch menu. Lydia's having poached eggs, being all healthy, and I'm like doing it for the vlog and maybe going for the brown butter American pancake bite. Oh yeah, you can watch that. Yeah. And do I go for smoked bacon maple syrup or do I go for creme fresh maple syrup and caramelized banana? <laughs> We have just devoured our breakfast. What did you think? Really yeah, it was actually. I know I didn't have any of I know. Did you help helped me out? Yeah. It's all right. I think um, the focus at this place is more like drink mm. and I Bar. drink first. The bar area is lovely and I mean I still remember it as Tiger Tiger so I can't get that out of my head. I've been interested to be here and it's dead like, Yeah, well I used to be there yeah. student nights every Tuesday. We had a few cocktails brought out but I'll see we're driving so yeah. We can tell much yeah, I think you're gonna head back. I actually need yeah, I actually need a video. It's already midday, but I'm gonna go via maybe Zara and Topshop. I mean, Topshop's near the car anyway. Yeah. 
So I'll bring you guys with me and see what's new in for autumn, winter. So I'm just in Victoria's Secret and I'm actually looking at their like gym wear leggings. I do have these leggings already but I'm thinking more gym wear that I need. So they have a couple here and then they have these which I really like which are more kind of semi jogger style. This is more for like lounging around the house, £35. Um, I love the colour of these. Oh no, they've got pink on the back. I am in H&M. I feel like it's been a long time since I've been in here. So there's loads of new bits that I picked up. There's seven new items. These are all new in. So I did have a quick browse at the sales, but they're all very summery. So first item I thought was a nice lightweight transitional jacket uh, in a 10. $39.99 I thought was really reasonable. Then I picked up these trousers and I quite like the fact that they're wide leg, but I have no idea how they're going to look on. So try those on in a second they are 39.99 in a UK 10 they actually are the same fabric as that so you could put a little white cropped cami under it maybe and have it as a all outfit as like a full autumnal kind of outfit and then I got this jacket which I love and they actually had a matching mini skirt and matching trousers to that uh, it's 34.99 and they also had all of them in a camel color as well so I went for the cream and just the blazer jacket and again 34.99 I think is pretty reasonable for a nice thick like cord kind of blazer style jacket so I love that a cozy knit because would it be autumn shopping if there's no cozy knits involved no so this was 24.99 probably going to be the first of many I got it in a small because it does seem a little oversized if you can see how thick the sleeves are thick wide I mean and then I got this which feels incredible I did size up to a large because I want it more oversized on me only 12.99 from the H&M basics range and it's just a thick well it's not even that thick it's like a nice lightweight cream sweatshirt another thick knit I might not get this because let's be honest it's probably a little bit too early oh and I didn't realize I picked up an extra small that was a mistake 24.99 for that and then this which I thought was a nice transitional dress 39.99 in a small love the color of it lighting is not the best to show you the coloring but let's see well let's try it on shall we so this is the dress on it's very floaty very comfortable but i love this color so so much it's like a rich beige and you could definitely even layer on like a cropped knit jumper when it is particularly cold with tights and boots if i can find it online i'll leave it linked okay these <coughs> i've always went funny then 
<laughs> these are the trousers they are a nice fit excuse the fact that i've just got like a little bralette on bralette top with this on but they are a really nice fit except just a little bit big around the waist um but apart from that they fit the leg really well they're nice but i do feel like i'd need a belt with them um or to size down to an eight which is i'm never an eight if you did want to go all out there and wear this jacket with the matching trousers then this is what it looks like i personally don't think i'd wear them together i think because of the oversized fit of this transitional coat i think i would put more of a slimmer fit maybe a straight jean with these and a nice little plain basic tee i love this jacket though i think it's so affordable and great value for money in terms of cost per wear <gasps> This is so cozy. This is definitely the coziest jumper I've picked out, but it's in this gorgeous like oatmeal shade. I love the high neck of this. Definitely too early, I think, to wear this personally. I just think I get hot really easily and I would get too hot in this. Um, but I love how cozy and thick it is. Okay, this one I actually like a lot more than I thought it was going to. It's more of a thinner knit, so you definitely one that I could wear um, this sort of time of the year when it is on those slightly cooler days or at home. I always get cold when I'm sat working from home. So it's nice and cosy. It is a nice cropped length that I've just kind of tucked into the top of these trousers but out. This is the length of it. I like the little sort of chevron design, just adds a little extra detail. Okay, completely ignore what I'm wearing on the bottom because I would never wear these together. This is more slouchy, cozy, comfy kind of sweatshirt that around the house I would just throw on with some like leggings or some joggers and even maybe paired with jeans just like day to day. I love the softness of it but it is quite thin so if you're after a thinner sweatshirt then it is pretty reasonable at 12.99 but i kind of want a thicker and also slightly long one i kind of want to check out the men's section uh, maybe urban outfitters that's only across the road i might just pop over there let's just try this jacket on oh my god i love it <gasps> i really like this how much was it again i forgot should i get it I really like this a lot. Let me just see how much it is. This is just like my unit that I got from the thrift store for 15 quid. I quite like the stool with it as well actually. Um, but yeah, when I bought this it was very much I was thinking Urban Outfitters.
want to go to? I don't think so. I've not had a coffee yet today, so I might grab a Starbucks en route out and then probably head back home. Where I get on with some work. Ground floor. Which door is it going to be? This one. Yes. Quick pit stop via Yankee Candle. They've got all their Christmas ones on offer at 50% off, but I don't know if it's too early. Just a quick obligatory stop. Oh my god. In home sense. Wow. 60 pounds. Look at the size of that OMG. They have loads of big Halloween stuff. It's actually on clearance, this one. 49 pounds. And I guess there's a little pop-up you can put your head in. I mean, Brits don't really celebrate Halloween like the Americans do. I remember when we lived out there, we had loads of stuff like that, but in England, it's just not the same. I'm just seeing if they have any of those gratitude planners. I don't think they do. Let's check over here. I saw them in my last um, little come to Home Sense and Home Sense haul, but they just didn't have any with like a nice cover, and they're just a guided gratitude planner, which I thought was a really nice idea. Um, but no, I think these are just notebooks. Yeah. They have loads of glass like cloches here. And my vision for one of these is over a candle. I mean, this, okay, I definitely don't need any more autumn candles, but I'm gonna get it because it says Hello Fall on top of it. And also it's the autumn harvest, it smells incredible. And then 3 dollars I quite like the idea of a cloche over a candle, so I think I'm just gonna get one or two. <laughs> I am feeling incredibly autumnal after that little bit of a autumnal shopping spree. Um, I did pick up a couple of bath bombs as well from Lush. Very autumnal scents. I think I'm going to do some kind of like a pamper night in with me autumnal style. Autumn style? Autumnal style. I don't know what I was trying to say there. Anyway, cheers from me and my iced skinny latte. Good morning, it is bank holiday Monday today. This morning, myself and Tom, I need to do my hair. We are kind of semi working, kind of semi not because it is obviously bank holiday Monday, but when you're self-employed, you don't really have a day off. It's just gone nine and we're actually gonna nip over to a local Tico Max, which is next to Lidl and Aldi, just to pop in and get some food for the day. But I need to take something back to TK Max and then we'll have a look whilst we're there as well. Had really nice weather over the weekend. I've just been at cricket watching Tom play all weekend. I've been sat with his mum. I need to wash my hair later on. It's so crazy. Um, and I thought I would do it later on because I'm in Manchester tomorrow with Lydia. We've got um, an event in the evening. Uh, so we'll probably go over a little bit earlier and shoot a couple of outfits and also I'm going to suggest to her maybe checking out the Zara new in autumn because I want to do some kind of a haul soon because it's autumn fashion and it's my favourite season to shop as you guys know. So where is a bobble? What is this to you? A bobble? Scrunchy? Hair tie? I mean it's a bobble. I don't know if that's a northern thing. Bobble. So yeah, hair is just going up for this morning. We might even go on a nice walk later on today as well because like I said, the forecast is meant to be nice. It's foggy and overcast now, but I do think it's gonna get nicer. We've got Peaky Blinders to catch up on from last night and Handmaid's Tale. And we're currently watching Orange is the New Black. So we've got plenty to chill out and watch what's having a bit of a home day. Tom! He said, don't have a shower, let's just go. And now he's in the shower. That seems unfair to me. Although I did need to wash my hair, so it'll take a lot longer. Oh. Tom? Are you ready? Well, I wasn't allowed to wash my hair. I need to put some lip stuff on. I think I'm going to go with this this is like my favorite lip gloss it is the la mer 
volu lip volumizer it's called and it's so nice and natural it's <laughs> it's kind of more like a balm <laughs> Got to tell me naked on camera. I think we're gonna treat ourselves to some fresh bakery pastries from Lidl because they're so good. Quick and easy outfit of the day. I have this basic white tee on, this gold necklace from Gold Luna. Earrings, huggies are Aurelia. My Louis Vuitton bag, my new Primark mom jeans, and just um, what they called Haviana flip flops. Our date night last week, which went live today, yesterday. Yep. You've had Italians commend your cooking. I've actually. Yeah. Of his head. Take it from my husband who cooks in Italy. He thinks this is really impressive. Um, another Italian said, oh, it reminds me of being back home. Really impressed with Tom's carbonara. Loads of people said it looked amazing. You're welcome. Can we do a separate series or on my own? No. Follow me. <laughs> you can't even plug yourself, you've not even got a channel. Um, Probably we could at, do another one though. At Clitheroe CC. At Clitheroe CC. <laughs> Get out. Looks like at this time in the morning we have one customer. Well that's probably a staff member. Lidl's a bit busier though. It's Freak Week. It's what week? Freak Week. Flavours of the Week. Freak Week? Freak. Where does it say that? I read it. Oh, it is actually Freak a week. thing. Um, it was official dog day today. International dog day today. Good for you. We're going shopping for a doggy. No, you're mm. not. <laughs> One day. I'm not lying to him. One day I am getting a dog. It's in my future. Maybe. I actually think two are in my you're future. You're going to be a crazy dog lady instead of a crazy cat Fine. Lady. I'm more than happy to be labelled crazy dog lady. See if they've got any more plants. Oh no. Must be sold out. This is where I got my uh, cheese, not cheese plant, rubber plant from. This is the section we want. Oh my word. What is that? All butter crawl. Oh my word. What is that? What is a crawl? Is it like a croissant in a roll? Should we get one? <laughs> Let's try it. Look at the cheese twist. These are all freshly prepped. Imagine if you just took a big mouthful. <laughs> to be fair, these cinnamon rolls look pretty good. Look at the icing on that. Yum yums. Do you say donuts look good? Really well. Really well. Croissants. We've got a cinnamon roll, which is just the most autumnal thing ever. That is a very beige looking basket. We already have plenty of these yogurts, but usually I'll stock up 69p. They're pretty good because they are fat free and 22 grams of protein per pot. So, you know, if you're trying to be healthy and getting some extra protein. I've never seen this sort of section before in Lidl. They've got this shelving unit here, these tea light holders, and then this sort of poof thing. I mean if purple and gold is your theme it's not ours obviously but they are quite nice. Cute little wire storage baskets. They are on offer. Oh yeah we need toothpaste as well. Lots to remember. They have frosted pine and also apple and cinnamon candles which smell amazing. $3.99. That is what they look like. What do you think to this smell? Frosted pine. Wintry, isn't it? Oh, it's well good. I just spotted this one as well, frankincense. It's not very strong. See, I'm one of these people though. If I'm gonna get it, I want all, all three of them. <laughs> I want the whole collection. Perf with surf. Right, I think we are gonna stock up on one of these and love lavender for in the bedroom. Oh, they have their own version of the low calorie ice cream. Graham's it's called salted caramel i always thought the lidl's version of la pack was called nor pack have they rebranded it to dan pack or am i thinking of aldi look at these tom <gasps> no way he's already picked them up they're just like the foxes one should we try them 89p now we're going to the best place in the universe when it's autumn. 
Well, actually, I'd still say Home Sense beats TK Maxx, but it's pretty much the same thing. Because of all the autumnal decor. Why autumn? I see Halloween. That'd be nice if rose gold was your theme. Or copper. Okay, so I keep seeing this one, and I think I'm going to get this one, but... Again, I just want to wait until we're well into September before I actually buy them. I might regret that though if they all go. Oh, Halloween. What does a haunted house smell like, I wonder? Oh, it's smoky. It's nice though. I like the little like natural cloth branding. Oh look, River Island Home. How much is this? $14.99. But I've got a feeling I might go all out this year and get stuff like this which I definitely don't need however I'm not so sure I can justify this this was just plonked here but it's from clearance eight pounds it's quite nice I think I'd put a plant in that it's like a nice tall deep one that would be good for a plant I feel and I quite like the white contrast look at this for a plant stand 40 pounds it is to my shoulders that's how high it is I wish they sold the, um, oh, what's that magazine that I like called Serial? And there's also one beginning with K. Uh, I can't remember. One of you guys will probably tell me, but I wish they sold those magazines in here because I love the, like, minimal look. $1.99. How cool is this? To have on your desk, $9.99 or a pen holder, marble and gold. I just think they're so nice. This is always one of my favourite sections for TK Maxx and Home Sense. How cute is that? And it's in a clearance. £16, not too bad. It's lined as well, which is good if you want to put a plant in there. There's a lot of like autumnal, transitional fashion kind of pieces. This one is from Mango, £7.99. Uh, this is quite nice actually. Nice jumper dress, high neck, plain beige knit. That is Stradivarius and it's only $7.99. They even have like cute cozy knits. Again, Stradivarius. This is $5.99. Let me show you. We actually have some of the Fox's biscuits left. Which I think the Fox's ones are usually a pound fifty. Oh, they are so good. And then th were these ones at 89p? I can't remember. I think they were. So we will have to give those a taste test and just put them in our chocolate treat jar for now. We're on a nice little stroll. Is that, that the window that we called the police on? Because there were a load of flies, this is like years ago now, on the windowsill. It wasn't last year, it was way, it was about three years ago. Oh, police are here. Crash. Oh dear. Higher Park Hill Farm. Yeah. What does that mean? Christmas tree. Christmas tree. We don't need one this year, will we? I'm not. Oh, you can't tell. Go on, let's do a Titanic moment over here. Pretend the salt is sugar. So then I got a question. Would you rather look at a house with a crack foundation or one across from a parking lot where the lights never go off? Neither. Or what if nothing else is in the price range? Okay, I'm gonna lose right. We're going to South Africa! Are you excited? We're actually going with our mums, which I think is quite cute. Tom's going for Christmas, and then a week after they arrive, we arrive, me and my mum. So we're going to join them there for two weeks we're going for, so they'll be there for three in total. And so excited, so any recommendations? We are flying in and out of Cape Town, so that is the area we are staying, but of course we're open to traveling so any recommendations if you guys have been to south africa before please let us know and as a result of that i know i mentioned before that i might be going away with my mum somewhere 
like this week, next week. I think we're just gonna leave that and it's only a couple of months away anyway that we're going to South Africa. So it'll fast approach and we're just gonna save our spandos for that holiday instead. So I'm gonna just get into some comfy joggers, take my hat off. So I'm gonna get cozy, get comfy. We're gonna catch up on Peaky Blinders, which we missed last night. Any Peaky Blinders fans? Let me know. And just carry on watching Orange is the New Black. We've ordered a Chinese, so that is en route. Bring on January. And also, we do tend to go away January and March anyway. January for my birthday and Tom's in March for his birthday. Instead of getting Christmas presents for each other, we like to maybe get an experience or a little holiday somewhere. So we've done that for the last few years now. So this year, obviously, January is a big one. South Africa. But any Tom's down. Let me know somewhere just for a couple of nights maybe a bit more local um yay i'm excited tommy's got the goods oh and they've got fortune cookies we're trying a new chinese what no that is amazing we can see our fortune at the end of the meal you get bowls and stuff? yes i'm watching this obviously no no hang on a minute because there's diet coke again um try a new Chinese place because our one is closed on Bank Holiday Monday. Our usual. Oh, it looks <gasps> okay. That looks good. I prefer the look of that to the other one. Is that beef kung pao? Special. Yeah. Left or right? left that's your fortune let's hope it's a good one. Oh. i know i thought i ripped mine as well your determination will bring you much success and your fortune no matter how your practice being whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you will have a spotless future no matter what, you speak. Like no matter how your past has been, you will have a spotless future. Spotless is pretty. Big effort, that it? Yeah. Update on these foxes dupes. You get two less, but they're bigger. And would you go as far as saying better? It is possible for you to care less. They've got more chocolate to biscuit ratio, and they are incredible. Let's just ignore those stats there. It should be, I couldn't care less, see? So after enjoying a very relaxing bank holiday weekend, it's time to get back into the swing of things, back into routine, and I'm so excited for all the autumn and winter content coming up over the next few months. As I mentioned, we'll also have a trip to South Africa book to taking us into the new year, which I cannot wait for. And now that the flights are booked, it's time to start saving up for our spending money. And that is where the SaveDroid app comes into play. So as I mentioned at the start of this video, SaveDroid kindly got in touch and wanted to collaborate with me on this video to introduce you guys to a new way of saving money through their free app. SaveDroid is a cryptocurrency money saving app which allows you to set your goals, in my case, spending money for South Africa, and then allows you to contribute to that goal through SMOOVES, which is short for Smart Money Saving Moves. This is where it gets fun and a little more creative in regards to which rules you set in order to save money. Perhaps it could be when you opt to walk instead of getting a taxi. You could put away what you saved by not taking a taxi towards your holiday spending pot. Another example, you might have a car you're wanting to start saving money for, so you could get really creative and set an unpredictable rule like every time Donald Trump tweets, you guessed it, you could save money towards your new car. Of course, in this instance, you'll probably hit your goals pretty quickly. The app uses smart artificial intelligence to save your money with the most stable cryptocurrency coins, which if you're unsure what I mean by cryptocurrency, essentially it's a digital currency without a central bank stored in a digital wallet. 
Without much knowledge of this line of currency, it can be a little bit daunting, but the idea behind Save Droid is that it does simplify it for the everyday saver. If you are still unsure, more information can be found on their website. And what's more, not only is the app completely free of charge, but as soon as your credit card is connected, you gain a five euro bonus. The saving method possibilities are endless, so download SaveDroid today via the link in my description box to help you start saving money in a really easy and fun way. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you all in my next one. Bye guys!